Watch how a small can like this can pack a powerful punch on your own dining room table. Let's go. All right, guys, here's our starting point. I have to be totally upfront and tell you that I love all things Duncan Fife. So when we saw this on Facebook Marketplace, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I see these tables a lot, but you never see the matching chairs with them. At least I haven't. So look at these cool little retro matching Duncan Fife chairs. The table's marked on the bottom with 1969. It definitely needs to be refinished, it needs some love. The, the uh, legs on these chairs have had some damage done to them. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and strip this very thick lacquer finish on top with some quick strip. Now that I'm done stripping this section, I'm going to use some mineral spirits to get the quick strip to stop working. I'm going to use some fine grit steel wool over the top and this just helps remove the residual quick strip that's on the table. Now onto the second half of the table. This table was quite large actually, so I decided to do it in stages so that the stripper wouldn't dry. Now that the tabletop is completely dry, we went ahead and took it outside to start sanding off whatever's left so we can get down to the bare wood. We started out with a 120 grit on our sanders. This does have a thin piece of veneer on the top of the table, so you have to be really careful not to burn through this. Normally on solid wood tables, I would start with an 80 grit and work my way up, but when you're working with veneer, you have to be a little more gentle. So we started with a 120, worked our way up to a 180, and then a 220 to finish. This table had a lot of legs. I went ahead and started off with my Makita Orbital Sander to take out all the dents and scratches that were on these legs from the previous use and owners. And I went back in with my Surf Prep Sander to get the little details that my Orbital couldn't get to. Thank you. 
Now I've attached the squishy foam pad to my 3x4 surf prep sander. It's going to go into all these little nooks and crannies and the details of these legs here and get it nice and smooth and sanded down. One of the most distinguishing traits about these Duncan Fife tables are these cute little brass feet that they always have. I like mine to look a little patinaed when I do over these tables. So I use some Brasso with some 000 grit steel wool and that just helps keep a little bit of the stain that's on there and then let some of the brass come through as well. It's almost time to put the stain on, but before I can do that, I like to use a tack cloth to go over all my sanded surfaces just to make sure I've gotten all my sanding dust off. I'm excited to use this new product to me. This is General Finish's gel stain in the color Candlelight. It matches the color on these Duncan Fife's almost exactly. So this is gonna be perfect for our table restoration. A big thank you to my friend Emily. She found this on our Amazon wish list and sent this to us. I'm applying the general finishes with a foam pad. I'm applying it in the direction of the wood grain. Give it a few minutes to sink in and then wipe off the extra. You can already tell what a really beautiful match this is going to be. You can see that I did not sand down everything on this table. The pedestal tops of the legs that are attached to the table itself, they were in really great shape. I only sanded down the leg parts that had damage done to them, and I chose a stain that matched the existing stain color. This is a very easy way to restore your own table that might be ready for a little bit of a facelift of its own. We're going to cover up these little brass feet before we apply the poly. I like to use Minwaxed Water-Based Helmsman Spar Urethane on all of our projects. This one we've chosen to go with the high gloss formula because the table and the chairs had that high gloss 1960s look that we really liked. So we went ahead and applied another high gloss formula so it could maintain that really shiny shine that you saw on some of that 1960s furniture.
we did the same thing with the chairs, just sanded down the parts that needed to be refinished. I had the hardest time figuring out the fabric for these chairs and what I thought would look good for it. So I went back and forth a little bit and then I really liked what I ended up with though. Once I decided on the fabric, I cut out four pieces to fit to the chairs. The chairs also needed some extra padding, so I cut out a piece of that as well. I used my handy dandy Makita staple gun to attach the new fabric and the new padding. Going to go back to the sanded areas that needed some touching up and use that candlelight gel stain once again. On the parts of the chairs and the table that did not need to be sanded, but maybe just needed a little bit of refreshing, or maybe they had some very, very thin scrapes or scratches that needed to be filled in, Restore Finish is a perfect product for that. You can use it on wood that's already finished and sealed, and it just helps to brighten and give your furniture a nice, fresh look. So on everything that we did not gel stain, I put a little bit of Restore Finish on top of to help bring back that really nice, rich looking shine.
Now that my chairs are nice and dry, it's time to attach my new seat cushions. Let's take one last look at our before, and then here is our after. Thanks for tuning in this week, you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a flip, and we'll see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade.